In this video we'll select a free graphic and download it in the proper file format. Then we'll be using Inkscape to export segments of the image to PNG files. The next step is import those images into Cartoon Animator 4 to add them into our library as props. Let's get started. Let's go to pixabay.com. Scroll down till we find a graphic we would like to use to turn into props for Cartoon Animator. Hit the Discover More button to go to the second page. OK. Let's use this beach theme graphic. The first thing to notice is Parks Abay's license. So this one is free for commercial use with no attribution required. Second at the top, we can see the creating artist. Even though no attribution is required it's always good to link to the creator. You can also offer to buy them a coffee in appreciation. Step 3 is to use the free download button to download the file, selecting the vector graphics setting. Go to your download location and locate the file beach 312193.svg and open it in Inkscape. If you have not installed Inkscape please pause the video and go to inkscape.org. Download and install. The file will open in Inkscape and you should see the beach scene. Select the Layers tab, hit the plus at the lower right pane and add a new layer. Select the entire image and right click and select Move to Layer. Move to Layer box will open and select Layer 1 and hit Move. In Layers tab, right click on Layer 1 and use Duplicate Current Layer. Do this five time for each items. I like to rename layer 1 as the original for a backup. Then rename each layer for each item. So let's rename the different layer to beach ball, starfish red, starfish yellow, crab and beach umbrella. Now deselect all the eye symbols except the beach ball and make sure that layer is selected. Now double click each image in the graphic, hit delete removing all other items, just leaving the beach ball. So now turn off the beach ball's eye. Turn on the eye in front of starfish red and select its layer. Doing the same process by removing each graphic, just leaving the red starfish visible. So this is a good case for keep the original layer copy. I forgot that I wanted to keep the blue sky background. Do the same by selecting the original layer and right click and duplicate. 
rename the new layer to blue sky and with only the new layer visible do the same process only leaving the blue sky background. So now if you make each layer visible you will see the graphics. Beside the layers tab, is export PNG image tab. If it is missing you can go to menu, file, export PNG image and it will appear beside the layers tab. Notice that all tabs, except the original are visible. Under the export tab there are different selection tabs. Let's first try the page tab. Hit export and have a look at the image. When we open the new PNG file we see that the image shows all the graphics we just separated. So this image will not work for us. Let's try another approach. First copy the name of the blue sky layer and sure it is the only layer is active and the rest are invisible. Go to the export tab, and under file name change the 3121393 part of the file name to blue sky. Hit the export button and now let's examine the new file named beachbluesky.png. Notice that only the background is visible. Back to Inkscape and do the same operation for each layer, copy the name, hiding and revealing each layer, then exporting then with the new names you copied. Just a note, make sure to select the layer that you are exporting each time. Let's have a look at the new files we created. If you notice the beach ball image it's not centered like the other images. Let's crop it to remove the empty space and save it. I'm just going to transfer the files we created to a clean work area, and then open Cartoon Animator. In Cartoon Animator select the Props tab and Custom. In the left pane right click and hit New Folder and create folder Twitchimo Studio. Select one of the PNG files, such as the beach umbrella. Drag it from the workspace and drop it into Cartoon Animator's work area. Select Prop. You have to deselect the image and reselect it for the plus to be active. Once you select the plus icon, a thumbnail will appear, and now you can name your new prop. In this case I named it Beach Umbrella. If you hit undo you can repeat the same process for the rest of the images to make more props.
you'll notice that I save blue sky file as a prop. This allows you to move the image around giving you ability to have more depth in your creations. You will also get a pop-up box saying the image resolution is too large. That's okay, just hit yes. If the dialog box pops up saying overwrite the file. Hit no and continue. So now you can use these new props in any of your creations. In the description there'll be a link where you can download these free props. And in the next video, I'll outline how to install the free files you've downloaded. Thank you for joining my journey of animation. Please subscribe, like and hit the notification bell to get my next video. Happy animating!